Hi everyone, I'm Andy Demi from Capital Markets Elite Group UK and today I'm going to be looking at some US indices and some important stocks in the US. So to begin with, I want to look at the S&P 500 which right now is in a very, very strong trend. You can see we have the moving averages fanning really nicely. We have the 200, the 50, the 20 and the 10 and right now the price is above all of those which is very, very bullish. However, I do want to point out that we do currently have a little bit of divergence here. So you can see as the price has been going up like this, the MACD has been going down. That is potentially some hidden weakness that might come into the market. You can also see the relative strength index, which is again got some divergence and is also going towards this overbought situation here. So I would take a cautious approach right now with this index and I'd be looking really for pullbacks if you are thinking about going long. Let's also take a little look at the Nasdaq and see how that compares. So the Nasdaq is not looking as strong. You can see although we are above this 200 moving average which is bullish overall right now we are kind of gone into this consolidation phase where the market isn't really moving much and you can see we are kind of stuck in a little bit of a range okay so you can see here there is not really too much movement to the upside or to the downside now this is actually more interesting for me because Although the, the MACD is going down, this is actually quite bullish for me because the, when, when you see the price going sideways and then the MACD going back towards its zero line, it's building that energy up and you can see the RSI is now below, for, uh, below 50 here at 46. So I would be really kind of looking for this to really hold on a little bit longer, maybe another few days, another week, and then hopefully we have the MACD back towards the zero line, the RSI a little bit lower towards this oversold area, and then I think this is gonna be really ready to explode higher. Okay, so I prefer the NASDAQ at the moment to the S&P. Okay, um, let's take a little look at some stocks. So you can see Apple here. Apple, again, very similar to the NASDAQ, is going sideways. Um, you can see that, I mean, you could take your trend line tool here and just kind of really put this area here of resistance and then equally this area here of support so again we are kind of you know bouncing off this support area the mcd is uh, going lower okay it is r roughly around the zero line it's crossed lower so it's not really at the moment ready to go higher you can see the RSI is still got some room to the downside. So I would just kind of be a little bit cautious on this one and just kind of wait for, you know, a little bit more confirmation before I start to look to go long. Google, uh, this is another one. This one is, you know, it's moving, on, moving along quite nicely to the upside. Um, again, I, I would kind of maybe look for maybe shorter term opportunities. You can see we have the um, it's kind of a little bit of a this kind of channel here it's you know we can correct that a little bit there it's um you know moving upwards i would say but not really at any kind of um, you know rapid pace right now so it could easily break I'd, I'd almost prefer if it kind of broke back and and went and tested this 200 moving average a little bit like here you know where we had a nice drop the RSI went lower towards the 30 mark and then it kind of really took off. So I would be really liking Google around this kind of area. You can see there's nice support around this sort of 130 area. Okay. Uh, let's take a look, a, little, a look at Amazon as well and see what this looks like. So Amazon actually has gapped up. Uh, this is looking quite strong. I'd be looking for this gap to fill. You know, we are well above the moving averages right now. We're, um, you know, a little bit overbought on the RSI. The MACD is actually quite perfect. It's kind of looking like it's ready to explode higher. But again, I would be really hoping for, you know, maybe have a look and see, you know, where is this pulling back to? Well, you can see the 50 was a really nice pullback here. That would be a really nice area there or I would be kind of looking towards this as my first area where we could fill this gap up. 
and you know back towards this sort of 10 and 20 um, moving average okay and then the last one I want to look at here is Netflix so again this one is actually really really nice really nice moving averages fanning nicely again we've had a bit of a gap up RSI is a little bit overbought I would kind of want this just to consolidate a little bit maybe even fill its gap up there's a nice old resistance here if I just clean that up you can see old resistance around here um, if we can kind of come back there that could be a really nice area to consider longs that completes today's market update hope that helps catch you again soon take care and good trading